What is up, everybody? It's another pretty nice day here in Mesa. As far as I can tell. It's it's hot, it's sunny. What else can you expect? Anyway, I'm sorry I haven't posted very much. I keep apologizing because I still feel bad. Kidney stones are the worst, and I still am dealing with pain. It's a little less today. I think it's because I took some painkillers. I took some ibuprofen. Basically, is what I'm saying. Um, ibuprofen is a godsend right now. But, um, I want to say that I'm trying to figure out everything. Like, I'm, I'm actually trying to uh, figure out what I'm doing, where I'm going next, if I'm going to take a trip, all this stuff. And I've been trying to figure it out for a while, but it's been put on hold due to what I'm dealing with. Anyway, that aside... I wanted to talk about something a little different today. <laughs> because I generally don't talk about myself that much. I talk about what's going on with me, and what's going on up here, and everybody else, but I don't talk about my personal life very much. And, obviously, the title of this video is probably something along the lines of, like, along the lines of why I'm single. Uh, or something like that. And, yeah, I do kind of want to... I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, I just didn't know how to get into it. So, I have my reasons why I'm not in a relationship right now. One, obviously, is I'm new to this area still. I don't really know anybody. And I'm not quite ready for that sort of thing yet, after what happened a year ago. It takes me a while to get back into the horse of that sort of thing. Unless somebody really amazing were to come along, then that's different. But, I have other reasons. Uh, the first reason being that this up here is hard to deal with. Like, it's very hard on a relationship to be dealing with all of us, not just me. Um, at first glance, I seem like a normal person. I, I'm sort of normal, kind of not. I'm weird, but I seem like anybody else. But you start talking to me and you realize that I'm not like a lot of people just like everybody else like we're all different but you know we're all special but also not special I guess you could say it's I don't know I'm trying not to be pessimistic about that but um having DID makes it tricky not impossible but very tricky to have a long lasting relationship that being said there's a lot of people who've had this that do have significant others or somebody in their lives that they they love and I respect that, because that bush tip is strong to deal with this sort of thing. Um, the second reason is I'm not notoriously easy to deal with. I'll be 100% real with you. I'm not an easy person to get along with. I am a nice person, but I also have an attitude, and I do get frustrated very easily. I do like having things planned. I don't, like, I don't mind spur-of-the-moment stuff occasionally, like, you know, midnight drives to the convenience store, or, you know, spontaneous dates or something. Like, I don't mind that too much. It's when it's a big something, like, oh, we're moving. I need, <laughs> I need something like that planned in advance. And, you know, that's... That's one of the really, uh, my nose keeps itching, sorry. Um, but that's really one of the things that gets me, is that I'm very hard to put up with after a certain point. I feel like I'm annoying. They say I'm not, but I am. I feel like I am. And stuff like that. It's, it's more my anxiety than anything else that I feel like gives me a lot of problems. And, um, I think... But I think the biggest reason that I'm still single is it is very, very hard to find a long-lasting relationship when you're picky. And I am super, super choosy with dates. And well, actually, that's not the main reason, but that is a really big reason. Um, I don't generally judge on looks that much. I like personality a lot more. But I'm also very big on certain things, like obviously personal hygiene is a really big one. I take 
as much care of myself as I can. Obviously, I'm dealing with a water bill situation and stuff with family and stuff, so I gotta be really careful. But, you know, obviously, I have to take care of myself. Otherwise, I deal with dysphoric issues and it becomes like a really big hassle. It makes me not want to leave the house or do anything. Like, I know for some people, it's very easy to, you know, for a male, for certain male to female individuals, it's completely fine to have a little bit of facial hair and to walk out of the house wearing whatever they want. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with the idea of being called the wrong thing, being looked at weird, being basically how I felt with my family. And you know, every time before I go somewhere, I have to, if I need to shower, that is a priority for me. And it's, it's hard. It's really rough. And that brings me to the, the biggest reason, I think, is that being trans makes dating hard. First off, I only like women, which, you know, it's, it's hard enough being a trans person. It's, harder when you're trying to be a trans person trying to land a date because usually one of the first questions I get is how long has it been since you transitioned nice to assume that I already have but <laughs> like I appreciate it but still haven't done that yet and I'm working on it I actually haven't worked on that when I've been feeling okay enough I'm trying to find options so that's a thing I'm gonna be doing soon Oof, I'm nervous. But, um, then it's usually like, oh, well, is, it like, it's just all these random questions that people want to know, like, how long have you been out for? Does your family approve? Do they know? Do you feel comfortable wearing this kind of thing for me? You know, and this is something I want to point out, is that trans people are not dolls for you. I've been saying this before, and it's one of the reasons I don't, I have distanced myself from hookup culture, because I did used to be a part of that, and that's another video I'm going to make, but I've gotten this question a lot of, do you dress up? What? Uh, the question that that means is, do you present? Do you wear certain underwear? Do you dress in beautiful, like, dresses? Do you wear makeup all the time? You know, it's it's very vanity-based, and don't even get me started on the other stuff I get asked, because that is a very inappropriate topic to get into now, but the questions I get asked a lot make dating hard, because there's a lot of people who see certain types of videos online, and immediately assume that's exactly how we all are. And it makes dating life tricky. Don't get me wrong, I do occasionally like to wear makeup. I do like to dress in clothing that I feel comfortable in. Right now I don't care. I'm wearing a Superman tank to a Superman uh, tank top that I cut the sleeves off of. It's not really originally a tank top in shorts because I'm comfy and it's hot in here. Well actually it's not hot in here, it's hot outside. Regardless, um, I have a hard time finding people, not who I relate to, people I feel like I want to grow with, people I want to stick with, because that's what I look for in a relationship, somebody that I want to be with long term. I don't want something that's, you know, just a week, and then they're like, oh, I'm tired of you. I want something more than a year, more than a couple years. I want a lifetime. And that's hard to find. It's very, very hard to find. And this is even counting all the other <laughs> mental stuff I've got going on. So, long story short, that's pretty much why I'm single. And. But I think one of the reasons I should, probably should mention that isn't a big deal to me, but it is something I try to mention a lot, it's because I do this. I want this to be a focus for right now. 
if someone were to come along who seen my videos, who or doesn't even know me for that matter, or just likes what I do or whatever, and they want to stick around, that's fine. I'd love to have someone else to go on adventures with, and honestly, I'm jealous. I see vloggers all the time, couples, going on adventures, going through daily life, seeing things, the kisses and the loving words. It makes me wish that I had that. So I could feel like like everybody else for a little bit, but it's just me. Uh, for a little while. <laughs> and I'm not acting like I'm going to be single forever. Like, obviously I'm not. But right now, this is a very lonely sort of thing. It's lonely being where I am. Because I don't know anyone. I've never been through Arizona. I've been doing this channel stuff by myself. Just getting by and enjoying every second of it. But it is lonely. You know, you do kind of feel like I just need a friend or or somebody to talk to. You know, and, and I love the comments I get. Like, that does make my day better because it makes me feel like people actually care and you do and that's great but it would be nice to have somebody on my adventures with me not that it doesn't feel like you guys aren't but I'm living the adventure and you guys see it later and that's very different for me like I, I don't know how to explain this because I'm bad at explaining but it's basically it'd be nice to sit passenger side vlogging while somebody is talking to me and we're just going down the road or sitting somewhere and talking for a little bit or we're going to see a site or something like that where it's just it's just fun you know it's just simple anyway I I'm on a little tirade here and I'm sorry but that's all I really had to say I suck at dating <laughs> I'll be first to admit it I'm getting better at it. My kidney stones are getting better too, so. Oops, excuse me. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you stopping by. I always do. If you like the video, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff if you feel like it. I'm not going to twist your arm or nothing, but I appreciate it. And remember, you're beautiful, you're valid, and you're important. Don't you ever, ever, ever forget that because it's very, very, very important to all of us here and up here. And I will see you guys in the next video I make. So until then. Goodbye.